discussed before the charity work is a never ending story and never ending a challenging story never ending a challenging story you cannot expect that you are coming to work for society on the social field and everything will be cozy and decent for you you have to expect the difficulties you are going to face that's why we need to focus on what we need to deliver. This is number one. We need to be connecting ourselves to different parts of the society. Different parts of society. Whether these different parts, different organizations, different individuals, even the government offices, to keep introducing yourself to them. Number three, keep trying. Number four, keep discovering a lot of problems in the society. Like actually the sister was talking about certain issue. And uh, the data itself you have is measured by the value of the money that the government can give you. If you have a proper data collection and your data has been organized, people will fund you. I was giving a workshop in a place in Egypt called Aswan, which is the last city in Cairo, uh, sorry, in Egypt before Sudan. And it was a full house. Most of them are Muslim organizational individuals. And there were two or three uh, non-Muslims who were there. The Muslim was so emotional, extremely emotional, crying and screaming and others. When the questions were actually raised, I found that the Christian brother was very well trained, very well composed, they know what they are talking about, and they can deliver. While the Muslims who have the problem did not know how to represent themselves. If you have the fund, you would like to please both of them. But you give most of the money so the people will be able to use the money effectively and bring it back to you with a full report, which unfortunately in this case was not the most. It's not good enough to be emotional. It must be, you see, I keep saying this wherever I go, how the social media platform making money because of your data, because of your information, they classify it, they organize it, they sell it back to you as cash that you pay for them. It's your own data, it's your own information. And this is where we fail. Unfortunately, brother, uh, the 
Mohanad, yes, for being made homeless, oppressed, refugees, displaced, raped, under, under this kind of uh, home violence, all these sort of things. But how to, how to, how to represent it to the ordinary donors and actually to the big donors? We don't know. That's why people might not be sympathetic, especially at these times when people are scared to donate money. When government are, have the right to say, I'm sorry, there's Islamophobia, and you people are hijabi or niqabi or whatever you call it, take a back seat. Because of the climate, because of the philosophy of thinking, because of the image. And at the same time, I'm not helping them by proper by putting a proper case study, case study, case study on the table. So you can say, this is the project, this is the aims and objectives, this is the budget, this is the data. If it's not there, I'm just going to become hot air, nobody will listen to you. You might be standing in a mosque and you raise five hundred dollars. Where actually if you do it properly, any donor could give you ten thousand euro or twenty thousand euro because there's a properly studied cases. Okay, and this is to answer you. Why some of the uh, government agencies are giving money to Islamic Republic? Because of the finance, okay, it is the waterproof, because of the bureaucracy inside the organization, and because of the clarity of the project objectives, outcome and the impact on the community. Not only Islamic people, but all the big organizations. That's why such organization with admin cost, there's admin cost. And they have to take admin cost. It's not 5%, it's more than that. Actually, because if they don't build this structure inside, they can become an institution. Okay? And this is the answer for all of us. We have to uh, to make a good case study. If I have a problem, I will go to the best lawyer to pay all my money to save my neck or my daughter next or my da my son or my wife or my father or my brother. But when it comes to the charity work, I don't spend any money on research, okay, on planning. This is the problem. All right, I'm not going to talk about that admin cost now because this is a different discussion on this you insist or insist, I will not talk about it. Okay. Good. Any other questions, brothers and sisters? Yes, Sister Fadima. Um, what advice, in your experience, sorry, what advice would you give as a leader? I'm not a leader, but I'm just a woman. <laughs> What advice would you give? I'm the leader now. <laughs> you heard my call? No? You heard my call? No, call me again. Okay. <laughs> right. No, but what would you, what advice would you need to give to us? Who is us? Us. So us is big. You okay. have to divide the us is to many us. Us as youth, us as children, us as women, us as community. Which us would you See, I make a difference. <laughs> yeah. But just general us. General us. I think what you want. Advice and what? Advice mm -hmm. in when taking on big responsibilities. Any responsibility is a big responsibility. Big responsibility. Okay. Uh, thank you for making the call. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? When I was talking, what's your name? Salah Hassan. The name is Hassan. Libya. Libya. Name Libya. Huh? Travelers. When you want to change the area, the desert area of Libya green, how do you do that? Get grass. You get what? Grass. Very good. Give him some grass. He's, by the way, a Muslim speaker. What's his speciality? Agriculture. 
agriculture. He's a man. He's a man. Come and tell us what's the first step of making the dinner spirit. You come here. Yeah. <coughs> because you are my boss. <laughs> <laughs> you are no, because my, not because you are my boss, you don't speak. <laughs> you are our boss. No. It's the first. And boss, not boss. <laughs> <laughs> the first stage is to plant a tree. To plant a tree which is encouraged the whole atmosphere and slowly, slowly it's the whole the, the uh, atmosphere of the bringing the animal, the insects, the, all the environment and then slowly, slowly it will come a green inshallah. <laughs> but you started with a small tree and then it started from this small tree, another tree and another tree and inshallah it will come all the area it will come the green. Thank you. He is a doctor <coughs> of a botany. That's right? <laughs> I gave you a doctorate. <laughs> now I give you a doctorate. <laughs> you can rise now. <laughs> And I am a farmer. Before I put the tree, I'll get the grass. <laughs> but not to break the grass. I plant the grass. Because <laughs> once you plant the grass, as Brother Muzaffar was saying, okay, this will attract investors to go to the second stage, which is Dr. Muzaffar is talking about planting the tree. And the tree will become a forest. So be Muzaffar will start the grass. I will start the tree. You will start the forest. <coughs> it takes 50 or 100 years. In societal work, it doesn't go overnight. In political work, the change will never come overnight. In social work, it will never happen overnight. You have children? How long will it take you to have the first baby out? What do you mean? <laughs> the, pregnancy, the, pregnancy. <laughs> the pregnancy. Yeah. Nine yeah, months. Nine months, yeah. And after that, to go to school? Uh, six. Six. Uh, four years, yeah. And after okay. that? Six. Six years. Six years. And after that? Three years and three years. Six. And, and? Four years, college. And yes. then they came, uh, come, come, or something. <laughs> 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 the, the, the grass man. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he likes to buy the grass from the big queue, bien queue, isn't it? <laughs> 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 it's easy one. If your son will come at his age, yeah. how long will it take you to look after him? Oh. 20 years? Six. 25 years? Yeah. I okay. have one 31 years old, yeah. 22 years, okay. 22. So, to get your son to go to the university, take a journey of 20 years or 18 years or 17 yeah. years. Why you are patient on this journey, but you are not patient when we do the work for our society? Okay. The lady, our sister, said that the pregnancy takes nine months. Why is not one day? <laughs> there's, there's a system. There's a system. When the baby comes out, will you be able to send him to a primary school? No. Or to a secondary school? No. It has to go through a system. Yeah. It has to go through a system. And that's why. When we work inside the society, it takes time. When we come back to something like Islamic belief, when we started 38 years ago next January, mm -hmm. 17th of January, 1984, you were with me at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's, she's hearing your comb. <laughs> and you're combing your hair. <laughs> so, there was nobody. No vision, no office, no desk, nothing. Just university students, two people. No resources. You got it? Got the system? No resources, no resources, no desks, just an address. And two people were digging it all the time, from door to door, to mosque to mosque, to shop to shop, that's it. But this was 38 years ago. Will you tell me that you are a millionaire nowadays, sister, and you want to create an organization overnight with your millions, I said you will never be able to make it. 
with the process of building bricks, of making milestones, of making this kind of road map for you, your people, the search are helping, empowering the local communities to stand and talk about you. When you look at 38 years, it's not a joke. And that when we work, when we decided to be community workers, we have to be extremely patient. The only one who will get the grasp of heaven are the ones who are patient. Then they become lucky after they have done the hard work. Allah did not say talk. He said do, work, do, deliver. Now we are, we are, we are making it قل توكو قل توكو it was توكو me what English language is it English or توكو this is توكو توكو language توكو توكو language okay توكو توكو language قل تكلموا لا مش تكلموا قل عملوا قل عملوا قل عملوا so coming back to the story I don't want to make it long for you because if you want to ask any questions a journey which started 100 years ago. You see, I remember a journey of a man who started alone with a young boy, <coughs> a woman, successful. He saw all the difficulties. He felt all the labyrinths. And he was tortured by calling himself different names. But he was only looking at his mission for the pleasure of Allah and he was talking about every and each one of you in this room. By saying one day I will meet my beloved brothers and sisters. The companion told him, aren't to be your beloved brothers and sisters? He said, no. You are the people who are believing in me without seeing me. The action of each one of them are equivalent to the action of each 50 of you. It's you, Brother Brian. It's you in this room. He was talking about you because he was making the road map for the people who are coming after him to lead, to guide, to direct, <coughs> to save, to teach, and to 
offer the solution for humanity and be blessed to be the people of the Prophet The second blessing would be to conclude by another hadith that he said in the Lillahi Ibadah
become uh, what we call it, uh, whatever you call it, have an experience in organization. No, 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 no. The only thing my colleague and myself were doing is working, writing some fields, and trying to help with whatever we can. As I mentioned many times in many talks, no resources were available. Even though they did not have any office, any room, more than address. Only address. We borrowed it called 517. They remember 517 was the road. And then there we used to go, my friend and I, on Saturday to attend the Islamic circuit and to open a small donation box. This was the headquarter of the Islamic League, 1984-85. Small donation box. Open it every Saturday, get the checks, put it in the bank account. And you have volunteers to help you, secondary school students and university students. Secondary school students believe in the mission. That's how we start. No big names. No big money. Nothing. 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 When we used to open these donation books, we used to open the envelopes in the prayer hall. Because we had nothing. No, no space. 1984, 1985. No room to sit into it. It's how simple it was and how easy it was. If your sister, look at the philosophy of grass and the tree. If you look after the green grass, okay, the green grass will, uh, will attack certain animals and certain insects and certain birds to allow the fertilization of the land to let the trees, which Dr. Muzaffar was talking about this, to grow. Then the generation after my generation and the Muzaffar generation will be able to come with Aisha and Umayma and Muhannad and Fadila to change this trees into garden. <coughs> then the generation after that <coughs> make it for us. We never dreamt the way you would ask me a question. We were just asking to just pay a penny as we used to have some slogans. A penny a day keep the famine away. Like a doctor, uh, an apple a day. Apple a day. Huh? Keep the apple a day, keep the doctor away. Who's saying it? Are you? <coughs> That's, you remember that. We changed it to from a, an apple a day, keep the doctor away, to a penny a day, keep the, 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 the famine away. And you used to have these donation boxes, chick, 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 help Muslim refugees in Africa. Chick, chick, chick. Can you sing a song? Tell me haram. But Muslims should not sing. Yeah, I said, Allahu Akbar. I said, Muslim can sing. I said, Allah Akbar. Muslim can sing. Yes, we will finish. Don't ask that. How we started, brother. You keep looking after your uh, seed. You planted. 
to enable it to become a tree or to become a forest. He gave the space to them people to become leaders. Give the space to the scientists to create civilization. He gave, he gave the space to the teacher to educate nation. The space. And he gave the space to this takes years. So, Zakala. I just want to just share one more thing. The consequence of this, well, that, as you said, is like see. I just want to share with one story in 2015. We work for homeless. Yeah. So in 2015, I worked uh, in GDO, selling homeless. I found the people in Friday, the Irish people, they go to drink because they don't uh, feed. I asked them, why do you not feed on Friday? They said, all the volunteers go to the pub, they don't drink, they don't want to come. So every night, every Friday, we just walk around the town and we end the GPO. And I see people are sitting there, no food. I was just thinking, why don't we start Friday? Because on Friday people have no food. So I started in 2015 with some of our friends and inspired this in happy family with something, I don't know, another brother. Yeah. He also joined the first day, I remember. <laughs> so he was involved with me. But after he didn't join me, he support. We started on that day, but Alhamdulillah, now today, after four or five years, about 600 people feed every Friday. Every Friday. So this is like we had a passion. And we only started with four people on that yeah. night. That's right. And some brothers are here with me. May Allah bless them. Thanks for hosting the Islamic Relief Day. Change the passion into action. Yeah. Brother. Excuse me. I want you just to. I want right. you just to. Introduce your organization. Yes. Because people I, would like to know I, who I are. Yes. I came here in 2015. Good. Without any uh, knowledge about, you know, Organization and this thing. About Come here too, guys. The camera can see you. Not volunteering. <laughs> uh, and really, I came here from here because of the war. <laughs> <laughs> stand next to you. Yeah. I'm honored to stand next to you. Uh, I am an engineer from background. And I came here just, you know, with William Gullu just to find a job at university level. And uh, I was saying myself, Professor on this. And I was really facing a lot of problems, I couldn't find a job, I applied nobody at me. And but at the same time I met with many people from Ireland, Irish people, who were very generous to help for as volunteers. And I I did really respect them at a lot. And what they did. And it comes to me the idea. I am from Yemen, and Yemen is suffering. All the people there is, are in really bad situation. And these people in Ireland are really willing to help. So it comes to me the idea to, to do an organization. I started for two years. I applied. And no answer, only just they refused. They just keep, you know, uh, they, they will not refuse me. They will not refuse you at all, if you know. Will you just, just keep, you know, uh, taking you back, back, with the help of Brian, you know, Brian really he was really of support to me. He guided me, and also with, I did not want to spend money because I feel that I am, I am stingy. And like, you know, I say, I, I spend three thousand or two thousand for, you know, Yemeni yeah, people is more, and I have to work more and more until in two thousand nineteen I got that good news and I accepted, and they gave me a registration. And we went to other difficulties that from 2019 until from 2019 until now, I am looking really just to open an account. I remember when I was with Adam first time to the bank. I was very ambitious. I was there. I want to open up account and I know the people. It was really silly thing thinking from my side. Because in this country take, take things, don't show them your ambition. You know? How you want? Will you just take it easy? You know, so, and uh, this is what I learned in Ireland. After one year, I just one week ago, I got the, the account. After I tried many banks, and I think the problem is not with the banks. The problem with the people. Some people they want only just they want not give you. They don't want. 
and some people you can meet very good, nice person, even he doesn't know me, he will be. Now I am facing that. I am you know, waiting for my nationalism or something, nationality, and I will have to work through the, the, the right way. So, the right way, this is, you know, because in this country, because in, inshallah in front of God, but in God, God law knows what, what is inside us. But in, 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 the, in, in the front of law here, it is really difficult to work. And uh, I am facing how to save money, how to support people, how to do this. I keep thinking about this because I am afraid, you know, if they take anything, any advantage of me, I will have to be very clear. Yeah. And this is the difficulties of them. Um, with, with also with my friend, you know, with Brian, with Adam, you know, we can talk sometimes. We need just to discuss this thing. So, and I really, I mean, if you can give me an insight, you know, an opinion about this. Brian and Adam, with I'm a visitor. Because really, and you know, how, how did you get overcome these difficulties? Okay, fine. Well, difficulty of sending money abroad. Yeah, and so, you know, because of this rule, you know, you know, it's really difficult. See, so there's a saying in Arabic or Arabic rule. So yeah, especially Yemen is, you know, and Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yemen and Syria some, and Afghanistan yeah. uh, could be a no go area. Oh. <coughs> I'll tell you, we're in a meeting uh, last week with one of the organization about Afghanistan. And even the money in your bank account in Kabul, you cannot cash it. You can imagine. You have your money which have been transferred from Dublin to Kabul for a specific project and it lies in Kabul. You cannot cash it from the bank. This was a discussion. But you keep knocking the door till somebody will open the door. The law sometimes does not care about how people are suffering. The law will care about the procedures. But you have to keep doing the right things all the time for the sake of Allah, then for the sake of the right people.